Well, hello friends, uh, Tim Bot here in the Makerspace and uh, it's a big day for the Makerspace because we're going to be bringing in a few folks uh, from our regular contributors to help us test out the systems that we're putting in place for dealing with pandemic, basically. So we've been shut down for uh, essentially four months and uh, you know it's been a shame because we had such a an amazing vibrant community going on in the space we were actually up to 85 members in February like that's 85 regular monthly members uh, you know which like from a year before we had six you know six total uh, so we really had a good thing going there and so many interesting projects being built and um, so it's been very difficult it's been a tough time seeing all of that progress uh, sort of dissolve because of course you know people can't be maintaining a membership when uh, they can't get in the space uh, so we are rebuilding and uh, we're gonna have to operate a little bit differently but honestly I don't think it's gonna be bad I think it's actually gonna be a pretty good scene uh, for people who are ready to adjust a little bit the way they work but some of those adjustments are gonna come with a lot of advantages quite frankly I mean the space itself is like massively cleared up the walkways you know there's a lot of room for moving back and forth anyone uh, who relies on a mobility device would find it very easy to get around in the space these days and I'm, I'm very happy about that so that's a big one uh, but for myself, I have to do kind of an unplanned trip up to the uh, over to the Parkdale location uh, where I need to pick up a sliding miter saw. And I'm going to see if I can strap it on to my Burley Travoy bike trailer. I checked, you know, miter saw on average about 45 pounds. And uh, in theory, my bike trailer can do 65 pounds. So weight wise, it might be okay, but. Uh, it may be awkward getting that strapped on there we'll see how it goes but basically we we ran into a situation where uh somebody had a reserve uh for miter saw and uh and then it wasn't here and that's on us that's our you know something went wrong in our inventory system now we, there's a lot of items there's like hundreds of items and so it is possible there's always a chance that something can go wrong uh, we try to avoid it, but in a case like this, where, you know, it's very clearly on us, we have to make good, uh, I gotta jump on the bike and head on up there and, and uh, you know, try and, and make this right. Alrighty guys, after my uh, big adventure in getting the uh, sliding miter saw down here, it is ready for pickup as a reservation and uh, folks are in to try out the setup in, uh, in the maker space and so you can see we've got our uh, tape down um, that seems to be working out so we have our areas allocated here um, the shielding that we have uh, which you can see the R2 is being very safe in his social distancing <laughs> and hanging out behind the shield um, is uh, this kind of temporary uh, one thing we're figuring out is that if we do the hanging shields we will basically free up more of the bench space which is important let's pop into the wood shop for a second see what these cats are doing what are you guys up to? We're replacing the blades on the helical planer. Ah. Helical planers, instead of having a single blade going all the way across, have a number of small teeth to basically go around and chip away. Yeah. So replacing the 24 blades on this planer will take a half hour or so. But... And I notice it's unplugged. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Nice new blades. Excellent. So guys, I didn't want to mention it, but it's possible that Andre's losing his mind. 
talking to myself. He's been talking to himself a lot. I've seen it. The weirdest thing is I'm not using my native language to talk to myself. (laughs) That's the weirdest thing. I've seen this kind of thing happen before. It's called tool madness. (laughs) Yeah, it affects a lot of people. Like one out of every 200 people gets tool madness. True story.